All right, hello everyone. I'm here with team If We, If We, If We, If Weck here with their incredible 2023 Melon Chunkin machine. Christian, you're our uh, team spokesperson here. Would you like to just take us through this whole machine? I see you got a little pouch here. You've got some like bags of concrete. What's going on here? All right, so our machine consists of two main parts this year. We have the elevator and then the slingshot itself. So the elevator serves to lift the slingshot up when we're ready. We pull on these ropes which have a pulley system to make it easier for us. The concrete is a counterweight because as you can imagine this thing weighs quite a lot and exerts quite oh, a yeah, lot. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you want to make sure it doesn't fall over and kill anybody because that doesn't go well. Back here, our sling <laughs> is connected. We have pair Hold of on, let me, get a, let me get a nice zoom in shot here. Yeah, of course. So we learned last year it's very convenient to be able to take your bands on and off individually so every band has a carabiner at each end to make wow, that very nice for very us. convenient the sling is made of some kind of foreign material we don't know what it is it was shipped with a lawnmower and it's been working great as long as it doesn't break we have some all right i love this. mystery materials always the best kind uh this is a quick release made by one of the mentors on team 2337 can, can you can you uh name who that mentor is dave bollinger if you ever see him give him ice cream all right, all right. sounds good i will so gladly give him some ben and jerry's fires the sling and then we have a steel cable pulley system here it's a three to one ratio so we have a bunch of people line up at the back with that board you see there pull it to the right then the uh, cable you see going to the left is attached to a tree and that's our counterweight so when you pull it to oh, the right, so you're saying that the tree right. right there is the only thing saving this thing from like collapsing over uh yeah if the tree wasn't there when you go to pull it back the whole thing would slide and got it end well so, so that tree's got some structural integrity. Oh, that makes sense. So you want it like firmly rooted, unlike these these concrete barrels there. Yeah, we're relying on gravity for those guys. All right. So the elevator's been a pretty long, uh, you know, concept throughout history. How do you feel with your iteration? Have have you improved it at all? Uh, our, our iteration's impressive in how little wood it uses, considering how much weight it can hold. I mean, yeah. That, look at that. That's only a, that's only a couple boards system. there. It's extremely flimsy, actually, in the directions it doesn't need strength, which is always a good sign because it's extremely rigid in the directions it does need the strength. So it shows that we've actually used our materials pretty well. Uh, that's good. In previous years, we've had machines that you could tell the wood was definitely overbuilt and it didn't need to be so robust. This year, it seems like we're actually about where we should be in terms of quality. So we're getting more efficient every year, getting better designs every year, and it's getting more practical every year. Uh, all of this can actually fit in a trailer, it compacts down to about six feet. You tell me that feet. trailer over there can fit this entire thing? That's correct. That's some impressive engineering. Hats off to you and your team. Thank you. Great work. All right, and that's about it for the if what contraption this year. All right, how far is this thing going to shoot, man? Uh, we're hoping to break 650 this year because uh, we've done some test shots around that mark, and that'd be a nice number to hit. 600. How far have you gone your previous years? Uh, last year we went 500. Before that, we were looking at 333, and prior to that, 175. So we're trying to improve each year at least 100 feet or so, and looks like we'll be able to make it this year. All right, and how much do you think the killer bees have influenced your design philosophy throughout the years? Uh, not, not much for this particular part. Uh, killer bee design philosophy is the best in the business as seen in their phenomenal robots, but not much, unfortunately, put into a slingshot. All right, if only Jim could see this now. I'm sure he'd be proud. All right, well, from all of us here at, uh, I don't know, uh, Melon Updates Now, I've been Nick Stokes. Thank you for this episode of Behind the Melon Chunker.